Hey guys, what is up? It's your favorite yellow brown girl. I am Reese. Before we even get started, y'all already know what to do. Go ahead and push that subscribe button, like this video, okay? And also share this video so everybody can see because I'm trying to inspire the world, y'all. Let me know. Okay, so anyways, part two of this story goes, um, when they decided to keep me in the hospital for over almost over a month or whatever they had told me that my kidneys was acting up that you know they need to make sure that they need to keep tap, like keep a lookout for my kidneys and stuff like that so i'm like what's going on like i already knew they told me i was level four uh but they didn't say me i had kidney disease and like that so i remember when i had a toothache uh really bad and I was taking ibuprofen, which is a big no-no when you have kidney disease. But like I said, they didn't tell me I had kidney disease. They didn't say I was on level four. I don't know what that meant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if I would have known that, I would have never took ibuprofen. But I did. And I think that was set my kidney over the edge. Um, I guess this is the second day me being in the hospital. And then they was like, well, you know, basically your kidneys are shot they're gone I'm like what do you mean uh doctor was like you know there's no chance your kidneys you know you need you need to go on dialysis just now i'm like what like y'all the only thing i literally mentally heard was you're for to die your chance of living is over you know what i'm saying that's all i heard I didn't hear no chance of survival. I didn't hear anything. I panicked so bad. Like, I had, like, the worst panic attacks. I normally have panic attacks, but it'd be, like, where it is. Right here, it was frequently. Constantly, I was having panic attacks. My mom had to come in there and pray for me, my uncle, my aunt. My boyfriend stayed with me the whole three weeks I was in there. I mean, y'all, it was so bad. I wanted to just bust out and run so bad. Um... They told me that they was going to do an autopsy or a biopsy, whatever, <laughs> to, um, you know, get more in details of my kidneys and see what's going on. So they had to get, do a procedure on me to, to take little bits of my kidney to see, you know, you know, is it like severe like they say it was. Pretty much it was. It was very severe. Um, my kidney, both my kidneys are gone. And yeah, so here I am and I need a kidney I need a kidney transplant. Um so yeah. <laughs> so that's why all I heard was you're about to die because if I don't get a transplant or do it do dialysis the treatment, then yeah, pretty much I will not survive, y'all. So y'all just keep praying for me, keep me in your prayers. Um and um yeah thank y'all for being patient and kind thank y'all for the kind words i really appreciate it and yeah let's just keep hope alive you know this is right here is a learning lesson for me um it's a journey that i want to actually share with you guys so i want to show you share with you guys my journey of going on dialysis and my journey of praying that i get a kidney transplant and y'all know the funny thing is it's really not funny but it's kind of crazy because my cousin who i least expect told me that she was uh she would donate me a kidney and y'all like i felt like this, this was the angel like from heck from the gods okay this was the angel and i'm like oh my god you know and then when she filled out the form online and said she was gonna be my uh, kidney transplant or whatever they told her she's not a candidate she had to lose 25 pounds i was like how rude is that that is so rude but um 25 pounds is not bad she agreed that she's gonna lose it so that's amazing i love her for everything like i always love my cousin but this just set it over the edge for me that family is everything you know what i'm saying so anyways y'all that's part two of my story if y'all want to come see want to follow my journey like i said like this video um and i would definitely invite y'all into my world okay yeah so i will talk to you guys on the third video thank you guys for tuning in to my story time 
And um, I catch you guys on the flip side. Yes, always remember it's always good to be yourself because everybody else is already taken.